I went to try and rescue prisoner D99. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prisoner has a strange atmosphere, but this time there's something even stranger about it. An execution. With my memory gone, I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head, but even I can sense the strong feeling of foreboding that hangs in the air. Maybe I'm too late? So, how's it going with the generator in the basement? They're trying to fix it now. It's gonna take a while, they said. They haven't even gotten the internal phone there back up yet. I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard room. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even here anymore at all. You promise not to talk about that? Look, would you knock it off with that weird flipping and flopping around? I can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I just might have to pound you. This, this is a glorious dance that's been passed down in my family for generations. When you don't know what else to do, dance, dance, dance. We call it the panic dance. This is special detention calling from the death chamber. The internal phone is finally back up. It's pitch black down here though, until they get the generator going again. How's it going up there? The phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Oh boy, we can't let the existence of this prison become known to the outside world. We'll have to round up the prisoner somehow. Is Bailey dancing? Yup, you should see him. Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. Once the generator is back up, I'll record it with a security camera. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about play games and today we're going to be playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we saved Lin once again from being crushed to death by a giant chicken. In this episode, we have arrived at the, uh, not really the police station, but this hidden sort of prison way out in the middle of nowhere and Bailey is being weird. He's being Bailey, and he's dancing around, and Bailey's partner here is... I'm not really sure what kind of voice I'm doing for Bailey's partner, but, uh... I don't know, I'll just roll with it. Uh, despite how it looks, the situation seems pretty serious. Bailey's dancing is, uh, certainly intriguing. But that telephone call that came in is even more interesting. The man said he was calling from the death chamber, eh? Now that I have the extension number, I should go check it out. Generator, still not up. I can't keep this up much longer. Believe me, nobody is asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead then? Me, you kidding? Somebody has to do it. If that somebody, or if that somebody is me, I'll keep dancing until I drop. Well... Let's leave him to it. Special detention. Trick time. This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I feel like a ghost is gonna show up any minute now. Hey, come on, show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right, me. But, whoa, I never saw that one coming. Did you? Who could have? Anyway, the generator is going to be fixed soon, so I guess we hang tight. So, it looks like we are a bit too late when it comes to Detective Jowd's execution. Generator, eh? Once that's restored, this darkness will be gone. It seems that's the first thing that has to be done. I guess darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without light, I can still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. Looks like it's probably over here. Uh, here's a really cool thing, is there's water in the ceiling and we need to let a, a 
drip of water drop, which will allow us to get down to the bucket. I wonder what you have to say. Oh geez, where did that wrench go? Without it, I can't tighten the last bolt on the generator. I sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Or like a ghost. Oh, hey, there it is. There, done. Looks like no one is left back there at the, uh, at the prison, which is pretty alarming. Let's go ahead and see what this has to say first. Now the lights are back on, but what happened here? The answer is still shrouded in darkness. I'd better see if I can pick up some more information. Can't seem to shake this bad feeling I've got. This appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. I'll give it a try. Some lamps came on. Not sure what that means. Maybe that changed the situation, though. It changed it did. Let's move on back over here, because we have a few more conversations over here. Whew, something really bad happened in this room. It's like there was some kind of explosion in here or something. It looks like... In the center of the explosion was that thing. That chair. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? W what the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country has the death penalty, but how many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. It had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. I bet that's what's happening. All the debris damaged the wiring. Well, I think it was divine retribution. D don't be stupid. The prisoner wanted to be executed, you know. Inspector Jowd. I guess that was too late. So when are they gonna pick up his body? Oh, these are the police. So when are they gonna pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. After we hand over the body and clean up the mortuary, we're done. Yeah, okay. I hope you guys are okay with me making all of the police officers have the same exact voice. So, Detective Jowd has already been executed. Looks like there was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting, but that's okay. This isn't a big problem for me, but if the body is taken from the mortuary, that'll be bad. I have to use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. This chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it's going to blow up again? Or let loose with the juice. Yikes! Shut up, man! Ac accidents can happen with anything after all, but let's just get this thing fixed. Come on. If I'm executed by an accident, I'm gonna come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why? It sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm. A chair that gives shocks. Can I use that somehow? Indeed we can. Right over here we have this lever which leads, as we can see, or I guess we can't really see. I thought that was, I thought the, the wire right here was connected to this, but no, that's... If we lower this lever... Oh. Ah! And now... I just got a shock! Now we're right over here. Gotta get up there somehow. Ah, there we go, the droplets of water. Son of a... And as you can see, we can now move on through here, and we're finally at Detective Jowd. Same thing here. 
Looks like this is just an internal phone, too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Yeah, we don't really need to use that right now. We can go ahead and just immediately help Jout out with his... Uh, I was going to say his case of being dead, but that's weird phrasing. Hey, can you hear me? Where am I? This is the ghost world, the land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd? Who is that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. Guess I'll just give the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, so I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up any even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. Now I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash? Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me. I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lin I'd try to stop your execution. Lin. Hmm. It looks like I have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. I remember now. About Lin, Jowd, and the execution. And what about you? Who are you? I'm Sissel. I'm looking for my memory, or trash as you call it. Sissel. Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry, it must not have been a very big piece of trash to me. That's alright. I guess you'll find out when you get your memory back. But for now, I'd like, to, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before your execution. This is the past, four minutes before my death. That's right, you'll get to see your own execution, and then we're gonna change your fate. But first, can I ask you a question? Lynn told you, didn't she, about what I did? Yeah, she did. Then is it really the right thing to do, to save a guy like me? I don't know, but Lynn believes it is. Okay, let's get started. It's clogged! I'm in position. So, the time's finally here, huh? Yeah, I wonder how many years it's been the last time you weren't even here. I thought I'd never have to attend an execution. But you know, I wonder why the Justice Minister suddenly signed the order. There's definitely something up with that. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. You're all right. Prisoner D-99, it's time. L let's go. Alright, men. I'm ready. 
Sorry you have to go through with this unpleasant experience. What? No, we are... Oh well. I guess it's all about collecting experiences for you and for me. Prepare to test. Throw the switch. So, this is an execution, huh? It seems to me there's gotta be a safer way to do it. Ha <laughs> ha It must be nice to have no memory like that. It makes things more interesting. I envy you. I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. That was an example of a failed execution, although the outcome was the same. Failed. They haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs and I guess had it had a short. So I guess that means that if I can, I can stop the explosion. Hmm. I don't know about that. Then I'd just be executed as planned, and I'd still wind up just as dead. Hmm. So, what should I do? Beats me. You're the one who came to save me. You figure it out. He is not making this easy. I'm, s I'm sort of just giving Jowd my, like, Asgore voice from Undertale, but I guess that's just my deep guy voice, I guess. The strong, muscular, big guy sort of voice that I give. Alright then, four minutes from now, this chair will short out and explode and you'll die. Very sad. If I stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your trouble. Uh, could you stop with the insincere comments? <laughs> How's it going, Gather? We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. I, I see! It's time. Please bring in the prisoner. But, 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 but that chair! It hasn't been used in a long time. What if... Bailey, there's nothing we can do now. It's time. I'll wait. I'll send the guards to his cell. I'll have them call when they get into position. Let's stay here. We see another call here. I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoner to you now. Uh, got it. Now let's go there. There's not much we can do about the execution from uh, Bailey's room, I'll just call it. But there are a few things that we noticed here that we can go ahead and deal with. Wait, is that... Hold on. Damn, it's totally clogged up. If the big guy gets caught, there goes all my plans down the drain too. Come on, flush, damn it. Hmm, apparently he's trying to flush a wadded up piece of paper. Oh, by the way, as I'm sure you've already realized, the youth in the cell is in cahoots with the big man in the cell downstairs. The big man downstairs seems to be digging a tunnel. Yes, trying to escape they are. But they're both very naive. He can keep digging, but he's just going to hit a steel wall eventually. That's pretty tragic. The two of them have a communication system set up using the toilets. The guitar youth is warning his partner of the guard's movements. A paper with O means all clear. X means danger. Okay, yeah? When the curry guy sees an O, he goes down to the to dig the tunnel. 
Hmm, maybe I can use that somehow. If we open up the note, then I believe it'll have a bit of an easier time. Alright, my jam grooved out the clog. Now get down get down there to sausage head. Go go go. In the present world, four minutes into the future, Sausage Head was lying passed out in the tunnel. Not knowing about the execution, he must have kept digging and digging. And the guards didn't notice he was gone. So I guess Curry Man's future has now changed a bit. Sissel, I'm sure you know this, but time is ticking. Almost time for the execution. If you don't execute a plan pretty soon, it's going to get tough. I think I do have a plan. Do you? I'm looking forward to seeing it. Only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all this trouble you're going to for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. So now we want to kind of do what we did in the in a previous chapter where we ring the bell and then we catch right on that spoon that he grabs to go ahead and start digging, which will allow us to get over to Jowd's cell. It's kind of weird how he licks that, considering there was just, like, dirt on it. Like, I know it went into the water, but it was still in, like, dirty water. So, yeah, it's just gross. Just wanted to make sure I was... Yeah, I'm still attached to the spoon. I could have just looked at the top screen. I don't know why I specifically went into ghost mode. Over here in Jad's cell, we want to go ahead and you'll remember that earlier. Let's go ahead and read through this. Whew, you sure can pack it away. A detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. And that's what I always say. You have a young people that follows that advice to get the letter to the letter. What are you going to do now, Sissel? As long as these iron bars are here, escape is impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. I'm looking for a path now. Maybe something here will give me an idea. So, this one, you have to time it a bit. You'll remember he takes off that napkin that he has. Uh, tied to his shirt and what we and you'll remember he flushes it down the toilet now what we want to do is when he does that open up the waste basket and now it's an O or a circle I guess it's probably a circle did you see that that huge can just went flying up into the air yeah that's my ketchup can ketchup I just love ketchup can't get enough of this stuff. I probably have ketchup running through my veins. Hmm, just can't seem to muster a laugh over that one. But I did make a kind of red O mark. Or circle. I should probably say circle. So he doesn't throw that away. Walks over, flushes it down the toilet. This thing is as full as I am. I forget if I read that last time. And now Sausage Head over here is going to see this note and think that he's got the A-OK -okay to start digging down into the tunnel. Alright, now we attach to this spoon. Oh. There we go. 
And now we're sort of doing the opposite of what we did with the spoon before. Sausage head sure looks happy. So now that he's seen the circle paper, he's going to go down to the tunnel to dig. Maybe this is the chance I've been waiting for. Indeed it is, because now he's going to go down here with us on the spoon. Meanwhile, these guards are going to start walking by here. Here come my escorts. Uh-oh, I haven't found my path yet. I see, I see mine quite clearly. The path to the chair, that is. What do I do? I think I brought this up in a previous episode. Uh, but... What do you have to say? I think I just may have found the path I've been looking for. The one path that will lead me to stop the execution pl plan and save your life. Well, well, I'm very impressed, because all I can see is a pitch-black dead-end tunnel. Okay, time is running out. Now for the finishing touches. Now we gotta be able to- okay, now we can get down there. Right. Since we're down here, and no one's here to watch the chair blow up, We don't have to worry about that anymore. What just happened? The power's down throughout the whole facility! Er... I feel like one of these is supposed to be Bailey. N no way! If the power's down, that means all the cell bars... All the cell bars open automatically! Damn it! Damn it, the internal phones aren't working either. State of emergency. Now the execution can't be carried out, and your life is saved. You're a pretty daring guy. I really enjoyed myself, and I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it true what, he, what the guard said? The cell bars open automatically? Yup, it's true. It's a little drawback to the system. If the entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prisoner's safety. But nobody thought it would actually ever happen. In other words, now's the time to escape if you're gonna. Anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's get back to the prison. We're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, let me give you a piece of advice. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon? Huh? You'll see when we get back, Sissel. Now the execution can't be carried out, and Detective Jowd is safe for the moment. A new present has been born, however. Jowd still isn't safe from the execution, of course. I guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison.